where do we go with the Steelers uh, deflate gate two here, oh, boy, Jason? Do we, do we go anywhere? Well, I mean, well, well, I mean, Patriot fans think we should go somewhere with this thing, and and even if nothing does happen from here on out, the fact that the league says that protocols were followed, and and they had to correct the record of the commissioner saying that the Giants uh, did not make their claim during the game, but rather right. after the game. The fact that 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 if the, even this is just accepted by the NFL, that means they should have accepted the fact that the balls were deflated or at least underneath the proper PSI a couple of AFC championship games ago because of science in the same way right. that they're perhaps accepting it from Pittsburgh a couple of weeks ago. So where where does this go from here? Well, I mean, look, I thought this whole thing was a complete travis mockery from the beginning yes. and i mean in terms of my opining when i'm writing columns and in terms of my reporting when i'm talking to people involved the entire time it made no sense to me it never added up and i thought it was um the you know the most overblown basically a league created scandal something that could have been handled before the game as simply as you know a memo two days before like hey we're hearing a lot of stuff about the way the balls are being handled uh so just be on alert we may show up before the game and check them all ourselves you know they could have nipped it in the bud so many different ways but to the later sort of this second series of of whatever we want to call this thing they have changed the protocols now so what I don't understand is, and even I talk to people from teams, game operations staff, who have nothing to do with the Giants or the Steelers. Like, what the Steelers would have had to literally, like, as a ball's being about to be brought into a game, doctor it quickly on the sideline. You know what I mean? Like, because of the, the way that this is handled now, I don't get the implication. The impl- you know? Yeah. They're, secure, they're measured before the game. I mean, I even went back and reread the, the, the renewed sort of league game day ops protocols again. I mean, the they're secured before the game. They're tested independently. The ball handles handlers then have them all in a secured area until game time. They then bring them out to the sidelines. They're supposed to monitor them there, and then they get inserted into the game. And then once something happens and they're out of the game, then so be it. You know, but it's not like they're reinserting balls once they're out of the game. So, I mean, is the implication that the third-party people were on the take and were trying to help the steal? I mean, I... I and how was that coordinated? I, 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 boy, and, and, and then, the, yeah. again, in the end, I think we all believe it probably doesn't even matter anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, am I supposed to believe now, like, no, no, it doesn't. Burger needs a less inflated ball or whatever? I, I just, ugh. No, no, I, exactly. The whole thing just makes no sense. It is, it is impossible to square this circle and I, I was just wondering if there's going to be something even added to a protocol or a rule or another team raising their hands and saying well shouldn't we do something for the Patriots now uh, but it, uh, it just seems that nobody has any more appetite to have any more conversation on this subject because of where it went the Rich Eisen show weekdays at noon Eastern on audience